Hey guys, it's Russell back and on today's video I'm going to quickly show you how I clean my lawn equipment. This is one of my vintage 1980 80s uh, lawnmowers that I have and I believe this is like from 1983 or 4. But this is the classic Forrest Gump mower that he used in the movie. Uh, I do have uh, a much higher horsepower engine that I put on here after the last one died. It's a 12 and a half horsepower, but lawn mowers, they get really super dirty. They get a lot of grass stains. They're in a very dusty environment oftentimes, and you want to keep your equipment clean. You don't have to do this after every time you use it if you don't want to. I don't, but I try to do it eh, once a year or so. It's good if you do that before you put it up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to be using the MTM submachine gun style foamer. And I'm going to be using Purple Power Vehicle and Boat Wash mixed with a little water. And I'm going to be using my pressure washer. So let's enjoy this foam. All right, I've got my Purple Power Vehicle and Boat Wash and my PF22 MTM submachine gun style farmer. Let's go ahead and foam this up. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dwell for about six minutes, then we'll come back and pressure wash it off. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash this off. It's been about six minutes. That's pretty much long enough for it to dwell.
right, so the main purpose of this is to knock the grunge, to knock the dirt, etc., off the mower. Um, we're not trying to make it look brand new, we're just trying to get this thing cleaned up if there's any mud or grass which can be acidic on here. We're trying to get it off and uh, and um, so anyway um, as soon as it completely dries I'll take you guys out around again and let you see what it looks like but it looks so much better and that takes really literally just probably 10 minutes. So I'll bring you back when it's completely dry. All right guys, so, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the uh, next day and I had to let the mower dry out. I was doing some other things to it, but it turned out pretty good from doing the uh, foaming. Now keep in mind, this mower is from 19, I believe it's 83 or 84. Uh, it's the Comet, again, the Comet rear engine rider or the Comet HV, Forrest Gump mower, everybody calls it. And I wanted to show you guys, it's also got the, uh, I don't know how many bushels that holds, but that tube fits in right there. It slides in those two, uh, those two little uh, indentations on the side. And it goes up and that two, the uh, bag just sits on these two poles. This thing is what I use when I do scalps on Bermuda. It cuts really low. I put the anti-scalping wheels on it and it does phenomenal on Bermuda for scalping. I mean, you know, you look at it, you go, ah, it's just an old mower. But after I put this engine on here, that 12 and a half, 12 and a half horsepower engine, it, it is an absolute beast at scalping. So it does a really, really, really good job. I can get down to about three quarters of an inch, maybe just a hair lower. But uh, anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys what it's like when it's uh, mildly clean. Now I could, I was actually gonna put tire shine and everything on there just to be a smart aleck, but you know, hey, it's a, it's a mower. So anyway, guys, uh, if, you're, if you're looking for a solution to clean your mowers, give the Purple Power Vehicle and Boat Wash a try because it's got a pH of about 10 and it's really good. It cuts the grime and the, and the crud, but it won't hurt the paint. And that's what we want. So anyway, guys, thank you for your uh, viewership. If you want to see more vintage mowers, I'm going to go over this one a little bit later about when I was doing landscaping in the 1980s, but that's for another video. And I will see you guys on the next one.